The issue is not if God exists or not, the issue is if God can solve our problems or not. Salvation or what happens after death, is another human problem, and for most people, not a pressing one. The real problem for most of us is whether or not we can eat and be sheltered. The conventional Christian church makes these concerns part of its outreach and part of its missions, but it is not the central message. But God was never unaware of the physical needs of man. There may be a different message to Jesus' choice of men. The implication is that while his disciples were to become fishers of men, they were fishermen. Indeed, there were no unemployed or independently wealthy men picked to follow Jesus. But we do not wish to make this essay a contest of passages. God provided us with wisdom and the highest form of this is logic. Christians may bemoan the fact most of us spend only an hour a week in the church. There is a reason for this, apart from our own ungodliness. We have other things that must be done. If they are not better things, they are more pressing. We must pay our bills and feed our families as well as learn the Word of God. What is learning without doing? Unfortunately, Christians adopted the Roman model of the temple when designing their churches. No doubt many of the early churches were converted temples. In a world where reading was not universal and the art of exegesis poorly developed, there was a need for places of instruction. But is this the only, or best or even proper church model? It is obvious that the early church was riven with disputes. Many adopted the mindset of the religions they were accustomed to. This was the days of the Roman Empire when Roman law spanned the known world. The gods of Rome and of Greece were deified representatives of what people were accustomed to on earth. Jupiter had many of the problems the Caesars had. The old gods were transactional. One could bargain with the gods of old. This perspective is still with us. People think they can earn their way into heaven, quid pro quo. Christian call it the doctrine of works, but it is the doctrine that gives us our law and the many religions man practices. This kind of thinking might seem reasonable. Some call it the marketplace. We argue over prices. People think that we ought to debate God over what it will take to get us into heaven. Atheists do not like the idea of dogmatic requirements, everything ought to be up for debate. The first condition for negotiations is that accounts can be reconciled on a higher plateau. If the baseline is x then reconciled the accounts ought to be x plus n, n being the value added due to the new relationship. If the accounts cannot be reconciled at the one side benefits at the expense of the other, there is no grounds for negotiation. Five conditions must be met if accounts can be reconciled. The new relationship must not increase. Insecurity. Violence. Destruction. Subsidizations. Debt. If the association introduces or increases any of these factors it is demonic. Faith-based organizations universally reduce these factors. Overview of the Apocratic Church. The Apocratic Church is not composed of physical elements such as land and buildings. People ask what the Church is, if it is not people in pews or buildings. The Church is spiritual not physical. It is not possible to see the Church in the way we see a house or car. The Church is best thought of an experiment designed by God to prove His Word. The Church as an experiment does not just prove the truth of God's Word, it demonstrates the limitations of the law. The church is an experiment that sees works of faith as acts done in an experimental setting to invalidate the regulatory framework of the Babylonian system. How to manage a flat organization is a dilemma atheist and their allies have pondered on since at least Babylon. There is no solution to this dilemma other than the biblical church. But one cannot have a church without faith. To prevent confusing the primary school model of church with the model of church provided by God, we will use the term, the Apocratic Church. The Apocratic Church is a church for mature Christians. 
it is an experiment created to validate the Word of God by validating the Church itself. Apocratic churches are the owner of record for the experimental equipment and resources. The Church represents God on earth as the body of Christ on earth. The experiment permits the test group to sell what they have consistent with the needs of the experiment and give the proceeds to the poor to capitalize the experiment. Yet, the members of the test group remain able to do works of faith. In some instances, it may be advisable to register the experiment as a not-for-profit. The experiment is overseen by general councils. Councils are composed of between 3 to 15 members. When councils grow larger than this, they divide into two or three groups based on subfactors or specialties. The experiment issues bonds to those who provide resources needed to perform the test. Bonds can be traded for preferred shares, prefers, when needed. Prefers are used as a unit of account to quantify the results of the experiment. The experiment is based on the following three passages. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 7 For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behaved not ourselves disorderly among you, ate neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you, nine not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an ensample unto you to follow us. 10 For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. 11 For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. 12 Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work, and eat their own bread. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if any provide not for his own, and specially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worse than an infidel. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 13 Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. 12 Limited councils administrate the 12 occupational sectors. Limited councils are 12 levels high and general councils are 12 sectors wide. Limited councils are horizontally part of a general council, and each general council is vertically constructed from limited councils. Each council is headed by a chairperson. The chairs of the lower councils form the members of the next higher level council. The apocratic church is fractal and modular in its structure. It operates according to the principle of subsidiarity. Goods and services are priced according to the labor theory of value. Each of the twelve sectors represents a different occupation, example, the construction sector, the health and welfare sector, the educational sector and so on. A local council administrates each occupational sector. A general council deals with intersectional issues. Economic development and the transfer of resources between sectors are examples of things a general council would adjudicate. All work done creates value and all value created is paid for. There are no unpaid persons in the experiment as it would impact findings. Even students and housewives are paid a living wage. If the work adds value, it is paid for. If an action does not cover its costs, penalties are adjudicated by the councils. All work is paid for and prefers and prefers are used in all transactions and in the purchase of goods and services. Prefers are preferred shares issued by the test group and are never inflationary. Individuals buy consumer goods and services. Councils purchase infrastructure. A national council purchases roads and other infrastructure projects for the nation from the appropriate national limited council. A state or provincial council will purchase infrastructure that serves the state or province. Neighborhoods, cities and regions all have their councils and these purchase infrastructure from the sectors as needed. Prefers are used as the unit of account. When a purchase is made, the seller's account is credited 
and the buyer's account is debited. Prefers accounting is never inflationary and produce no interest-bearing debt.